This is uh, Leo's radiator welding powder coating shop. I'm getting my radiator for my 1952 Greyhound bus. All redone. Are oh, you gonna put water in the tank? Yeah. Okay, why don't you explain again? I'm sorry, I, I should have been filming, I guess. Explain to me what you are, uh, what you did on there, putting the oil on it or whatever you. Yeah, I put like uh, spray this morning the grease, so the the, the grease like uh, clean the whole oil, whatever it is in the core, and then uh, um, I have to clean, I have to test it before taking it apart. Because if that one leaks right here in the core, it's better be like uh, replace the core, you know. But if that one leaks right here and behind between the uh, the, the header and the tooth, it's, it's good to rebuild it. But um, but yeah, I have to like clean it and check it out before take it apart. Okay, that's good. And now you're gonna put water in your tank. Yeah. Okay. I don't deep. think you never know what people like to watch. Now that's exciting stuff right there. What? <laughs> yeah. see like see how really yeah, that's the bottom part yeah so this is really um really soft rusted. yeah it's all rusty so that one that's why they didn't yeah this is why maybe maybe when these guys dip in the acid he take a long long time so the acid is really strong like like right. eat the metal but yeah i that don't know probably water isn't even well Oh, no, oh, 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 it's too old, too. Yeah. You see, that one is original. See, like this one. You see, I put it again in the acid tank. This, this, eat the whole thing. So, these, uh, these, um, the whole thing. Well, we were talking about it in different core anyway. Yeah, right? I think it's the best deal, like, uh, I before. I want to do what we need to do. I, I want it to be, like, new. Yeah, and before. Because that the, engine is new. Yeah. Because yeah. before they, they put the time in time and and uh and try to make it that one work that's no that's not good because see like put a little bit pressure and right. that one is bended and it's fall down yeah. fall off but when you run this thing or put in the acid these come off and then waste the time like try to make it new again right okay thank you Bye. So I think uh, what I see here, and I know that now that 
just for the knowledge, the fins, all these fins, water doesn't go through that, right? Mm-hmm. Water does go through those little fins? No, 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 no. It's, it's, the core, the... Yeah. The, the things. Uh-huh. And it's uh, a lot of sand or something's come up. So what, are these things actually rusting? Yeah. These little fins? Yeah. Is that what's happening? Uh-huh. And, uh, and that one is original, 1952, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they start in like. What? You, you, you know, almost over the like, years. Almost like 58 years old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's old. old to me. It's old to me too. <laughs> it's older than me. It's old. Uh huh. So like, so you don't, you couldn't you clean it. Like, you got a like brand new engine, right? You want to do the it's best. It's gotta be like put a new core, and you don't have to go about it for. So now, if we do a new core, what are the costs on that? Yeah, well, I have to like, uh, I have to take it apart and more sure that. It, Got it the right dimensions. Yeah, you're gonna you know, take it headers, apart. How thick? How thick is the headers? How wider? And the core too, and how many rolls? And I, uh, I go tell the guy like, um, like what I told you yesterday. This is like 12 fans per inch. Right. So I order maybe like nine fans. So these got a more, uh, more, more air can go through there. More, yeah. And wouldn't that keep it cleaner too? If it was a little thicker. I mean, if you kept it clean, I mean, this would be hard to clean. Yeah. They're so close. Mm-hmm. But see, on this side I did it, and it, this side it's okay. But the bottom time, but the bottom size all the time. So um, whole you know, new the car. Salt water or whatever it is, uh, is, is go there and yeah, keep and it there. So it settles. You start making like, like uh, deterioration, the, the, uh, the whole core. Right. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I think a new core would be if we can go thicker, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, more more cooling space. Uh huh. Wider wider fins. Yeah. And see that one? That one somebody cut it. That one, that took right there. Yeah, I know. That I know. one cut it off. Or broke. <laughs> well, this is easy. That one leak. See, in this side. Oop. In that side, but you see that one leak, cut it off and and put the saddle right there and it stopped leak, but you lose the calling when these gonna is, is, is cut it like that. Well, I want, I, as long as what one, we're doing. Another uh, one there, another one there. All corners is cut. Yeah, as long as what we're doing increases the cooling power. Mm -hmm. So the engine will run cooler with that turbo. I'm for it. Oh yeah, yeah. That one is definitely is really good. Cause that, that one, the core is, is a lot of sand is coming down by the core. See like here? Yeah. All this sand is coming out by the core. Yeah. See like here? Well, you, yeah, years is and the years. One, is the one that you got it in there, all around the, 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 the boss. Soon I start like cleaning right here. It's Are you talking like, about the soda and everything? Yeah, the soda or, or, or sand. Soda, or sand. I mean, years and yeah. years and years. And this is after they cleaned it. Uh huh. Obviously, they did something. Mm -hmm. Those other guys, right? Yeah. I don't know what they did, but they did something. Yeah. Because all these bolts are new. Yeah, only that bolts, but that one, this I know. Yeah, no. These guys don't touch nothing here. Yeah, he probably decided this is yeah, this is too bad. Uh huh. But this is why that one is over here because it's it's so rusty and old in this side, so these guys don't touch it. Because that well, it really didn't overheat that bad, Compa you know, considering that the engine was so old and mm -hmm. it was struggling anyway. Yeah. Because of the soda and all that crap in it. Yeah. And plus, you know, there's, it was just old. Uh-huh. So it see, did a good job for see, by these what right it was. Here. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, got a bunch see, of... Well, I want to... You know I want to have... Uh, see, lower these right here. Soon the fan start like, blow the air. These guys bend it like this. Right. And then the, the air never, never, never go through to the other side. Yeah. Cause he's all like. All right, I'm for a new core. If we can get more cooling. Oh yeah. Out of it. 
Just uh, give me a uh, estimate when you figure it out. Yeah, I gotta go like take the pot in. And uh, are you gonna take this all apart? And yeah. well, you're gonna still do that. Clean oh, it. Oh yeah, I have to take it apart and got it the, the right dimensions, like that size, that right. size, half take, how many rolls, half, half size, how long is this header? This size, both, you know. Okay. Well, we're. Are you gonna start taking it apart or what? Yeah. Okay, I'll film that. Okay, I think we do a core. Okay. I, right? Don't you think? New oh, core? Yeah. yeah. First time what I do is like mark the headers, like the side rails and the tank. If this is this is the top, that one is the bottom. So I put like. So this is the one, that bracket, that's a real, that, that bracket, that tank. Oh yeah. So when I put it back together, cause that one is pretty much the same. And it's easy, like put this side and the other side, and then that one is the, the shrouds go both together, so you don't want to miss it like that way. You know what I'm saying? Yep. See, this, this is a metal thing. That one looks like metal. That one is aluminum. Oh, really? And this is aluminum? Mm-hmm. Well, this is where it all hooks up to the uh, frame of the, the cradle. Yeah. So it's probably needs to be steel. Steel to aluminum. Mm-hmm. Well, you can see something hit. Something happened here. Yeah, I saw that one. You know, uh, at one point, uh, the fan broke off. Oh, yeah? So I guess that happens a lot with those old, well, not a lot, but <laughs> it happens with those old buses. Mm-hmm. So what would be the advantage of having the fins so close together? Why'd they do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that one? Why would they put the fins close together? Like like this one over here. Is this a, this is a newer one, right? Yeah. And they're pretty, that's what you're talking about. They're pretty spaced out. I mean, they're. Uh -huh. Every one then, is a different. Is this, what, are, what are, this one's pretty, well, that's still. Yeah, that one looks like where, uh, I think like nine, nine fans or ten fans per That's inch. what you're talking about, me. Yeah. That one is way, way, way close. Some different, some, uh, some old style or new style. This is a new style. Like this right, guy, yeah. This guy's calling like serpentine. He's going like this. Yeah. And these guys is like automotive style. Like this one. But this is a metal, this is a steel core. This is a brass core. What's that's, mine? That's aluminum core. What's mine? Yours is a brass core. Brass, ooh. Yeah. Probably get, I bet you could sell that, huh? Yeah. Brass? Brass. One of my uh, YouTuber guys said, keep your core, that's worth some money. Huh? One of my YouTubers said keep your core that's worth some money if you change the core in it mm -hmm. keep the old core yeah like it's crash is the only these only brass that's got to be worth some money uh right now i think it's like um uh, i think right now it's pretty much like like dollar a pound or something like that <laughs> hey it's something huh
Yeah. Really careful. See how rusty it is? Oh, did it break? Yep. Okay, you're gonna it's, drill that out. Yeah, it's breaking in the uh, in the aluminum. Right. So this is this guy. Maybe this is why this guy don't touch it right here. Probably. It's it's pretty hard like working in the aluminum and metal. Oh yeah. yeah. Every time. Steel and aluminum. Yep. Every time. It's, it kind of uh, melts together. Uh huh. So see that easy like break it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why he didn't do it. Yeah. Probably uh, my uh, brother-in-law, or ex-brother-in-law, he's the one who took it down to the shop and everything. He probably just said, just clean it up a little bit. <laughs> clean yeah. it up a little bit. We'll charge those guys top dollar and we won't do everything. Uh-huh. I'll keep the rest. You can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll both share in the profits. So you like doing all this? No, I don't you don't like it? I don't really do that. Oh, you don't do it? You do the uh, powder coating? Uh, sometimes, you know. Time blasting. And he just brings the girls. My daughter. My Good looking wife. young guy, tall. Yeah, but um, how'd you get so tall? Uh, well, I know. My dad was uh, like six one. My grandfather and his brothers were all over six foot, but my dad's dad was like five three. Uh, so, you got in so I got in between. Yeah. I wish I'd have been taller, cause uh, well, then I might not have been able to play baseball and all that stuff as good as I did. I can't. You know, I, I was good as good shot in basketball, and I was quick, but I blew my knee out. And that, I, I'm, I was playing uh, up in Seattle, and uh, I was shooting like crazy. I was shooting three pointers. I, I mean, this was in '85, 1985, and uh, I. It was a. Uh, we were at this gym, and everybody was you know, playing each other, you know, it was just a big round, you know, you signed up and then you played. And then as long as you were winning, you stayed out there. Well, we just kept winning and winning. I didn't know the guys, but I was shooting. I was on fire. I mean, I, I was the best I ever shot ever in my whole life. <laughs> and, uh, so they were just throwing it to me all the time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot it. And so they were guarding me outside. So I started breaking into the basket and they'd, They'd always they'd throw it to me, and so I came. I went in to make a layup. The the guy passed it. I was breaking towards the basket, and he passed it. And I was I turned like you know back like that to catch it, and I was gonna go up for the layup. Oh my God, my knee went. No, it popped. I I blew my anterior crucia. Oh no, I was I I knew right away I had really screwed up. <laughs> It just went, bang, it popped. And everybody in the whole gym just stopped. I was looking and <laughs> I'm laying there on the floor. My leg is popped. Uh, it's, it's crooked. And I popped it back in. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I had all these doctors running up to me, giving me cards and everything. <laughs> I left, I left, uh, I, I went home, my knee was the size of a basketball, and I went, I went hobbling out of there, I went home, jumped in the tub, you know, um, I didn't know what to do, uh, my girlfriend came over and bathed me, oh, you poor thing. I left Seattle right after that. There's your girls. Yeah. This is my granddaughter. 
Those are the ones that control everything. Yep. I got a little knee on my niece. Is no, 35, 36, something like that. Really. She's a. Uh, her dad was full Spanish. A great artist, but not a good dad. <laughs> he left. But that was my niece. But now my. Uh, uh, her daughter, her daughter, uh, Amanda, Try my moving. niece, married. Um, in 716. 716 Ranch in, in Sucker. <laughs> See, but Amanda's, Amanda's little daughter is beautiful. Yeah. And she knows it. And she's like. Nine years. <laughs> hey guys, we're making we're making YouTube stuff here. <laughs> it's Nebraska one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that the two-year-old you were telling me about? Yeah. I thought there was a little boy. Uh, my son, he's got a boy, two boys, and my dad, she's got like two girls. <laughs> well, what would you rather have, boys or girls? Eh, honestly, boys. Yeah. But uh, It's scary with girls. Yeah. Like my niece's little girl now is, I don't know if she's eight or if she's 10, but she's always uh, there, and my niece, Amanda, the mother, they're always putting stuff on Facebook, uh, Charlie dancing around. And uh -huh. She's so cute, you know? Yeah. And she's singing now, and yeah, and, like and, she's got, and she's wearing makeup. It's like her, she look in the um, cartoons, and she look like a new uh, uh, movies, you know, like uh, Disney movies. Yeah. Princess and, and stuff. Oh man! <laughs> I want it! I want it! I want it! Oh well, my, well I'll tell. Let me tell you, our uh, our niece, who's now thirty five, something like that. She used to come down to Texas. They live in California, but she, she would come to Texas from as soon as she could fly on her own, you know. And so she was like five or something like that, maybe even before. And she was flying down to Texas every every summer <laughs> and uh okay okay bye and my brother mike spoiled the crap out of her oh my gosh and she's still spoiled she calls us all the time oh, i gotta have so and so can you send me 500 <laughs> i'll pay you back man don't even say you're gonna pay us back because you're not gonna do it yeah. If I give it to you, you it's you know, if if you paid had to pay me back everything you owed me, you would owe me twenty thousand dollars easily. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I need it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Bye, baby. It's all rusty. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing this. It, it definitely needed it, huh? Well, you see when I take it yeah, apart. Yeah, I can see that it does.
It's amazing, but uh, people really like to watch this kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, they don't, you know, you don't see it. And, you know, and somebody might watch this and go, Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, how are you? Uh, I'm kind of facing Okay, yes, man. Okay, sure.